Hey, this is Susan Velez from SusanVelez.com and welcome to my YouTube channel where every Wednesday I create some type of tutorial, advice, video, something that's going to make the techie side of blogging easy so that you can start, grow, and monetize your own WordPress blog. So if you've been following along with me, you know what I like to do is at the end of every month, I actually take you inside of my Google Analytics and kind of show you the growth of what I'm doing to my blog, how it's, whether or not it's growing, and kind of just compare it to the last 30 days, um, just so I can kind of compare what's going on with my blog. Um, I don't like to compare myself to others, so really the only person I can compare myself to is my own stats. And I like to share this with you because hopefully it's helping one of you guys um, start your own blog and give you some ideas of where my traffic's coming from so that we can work together to grow our blogs. So today, um, it is actually the last day of August. It's not September yet, and I normally would not be recording this video until the beginning of the month, but I've actually been kind of busy lately, and I wanted to make sure that this video did get recorded because, as I said, I really like doing these videos, and hopefully you like watching them. So a little bit, um, let's go inside of my analytics, and then I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my blog. Now, I did not spend the whole month of August working on my blog. I've actually, I took, this is the first month that I've taken two weeks off from my blog. I went to, uh, on a vacation to Siesta Keys, Florida. So we're going to see how this two week vacation affected my blog traffic. Now, during my stay in Florida, I actually still continue to publish blog posts because I had my posts uh, pre-written in advance so I didn't have to do anything to get them published. I already had them scheduled so they just published on Tuesdays and Thursdays just like no they normally would. And then I also went ahead and scheduled my YouTube videos in advance before I went on vacation. That way my videos would still be published as well too. The thing is that I did not do any type of promotion for those posts besides um, pinning them on Pinterest and then I also pinned them in or posted them on some Facebook groups and tweeted them. So that's really all I did for the two weeks that I was in Florida. I did not do any blog commenting. I, I basically did not touch my blog. I pretty much just checked my social media accounts through um, my iPhone and that was it. So I pretty much just unplugged and it was really nice and I can't wait to do it again. So, but anyway, I'm back to work. So from this point forward, I will be doing my daily stats and I will be, um, or my daily blogging activities and I will be making sure that I work on my blog to continue to grow it. So in here, um, you can see that I am comparing my July 1st through July 31st and then my August 1st through August 31st. Now the stats for July 30, or I'm sorry, August 31st, are probably not going to be on here because as I said, today is the actual 31st of August. But either way, I'm not gonna worry about that. It, I'm sure it wouldn't change that, make that much of a difference considering that we're in the middle of the day today of August 31st. So as you can see, you can see the um, difference. Uh, the orange one is for August and then the blue one is for July. So you can see that my traffic in July was better than it is in August. And then you can see that my um, sessions improved as well as everything pretty much improved except for my new sessions, which went down. So basically, that's a good sign. Um, I like to see these green numbers as opposed to these reds. Um, now, let me just take you back and let me go ahead and just do the August. We're going to do... And I'm going to show you the, the actual page views for August. And I'm just going to go ahead and include the 31st, even though those numbers probably are not complete. But uh, right now, as of 1.30 p.m. on August 31st, my page views are 2,700, which um, are not that great considering that I think last month I got higher than that. But like I said, I'm really not trying to focus on page views anymore. I'm really focusing more on keeping my traffic in growing a community. So the average session duration is two minutes and 37 seconds. And then the bounce rate is 69.53%, which uh, I think that's pretty good. Um, I'm sure it could probably be lower, but I'll take that. Uh, 
Now, the next thing I like to do is also show you into, I'll take you into acquisition and then show you my social traffic. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you which social network is giving me or sending me the most traffic. So right here, as you can see, Pinterest is now sending me the most traffic, which last month was Facebook. So as I mentioned on my blog, Facebook has been very challenging for me. I can't seem to grow my Facebook page or really understand how to do it. Not that I'm completing, completely quitting on it, but for right now, my, fo my main focus is Pinterest and I've just started focusing on it this month, which is August. And like I said, I actually took a two week break vacation and you can see how quickly my Pinterest traffic has um, really shot up considering that I've only been focusing on it since this month. So that's pretty cool. And then of course, after Pinterest is Facebook and Twitter, and then of course my YouTube channel. So that's really what I like to show you. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you guys where all my traffic is. We're gonna go uh, source medium. And I'm actually starting to get more Google organic traffic. As you can see, mo more of my traffic is now starting co to come from uh, organic traffic, which is pretty cool. Um, considering my site only has, I think it's 85 published posts, give or take around there, 85. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how many published posts I have on my site, but it's not, I know it's definitely under 100. Let, let's go look into my site and we'll see how many published posts I have. So I'm going to take you inside of my dashboard and we're going to go to um, published posts and we're going to just kind of see what, how many published posts I have. Now, the thing about it is the more posts that I write and, and optimize for Google, this number will just continue to grow. So that's pretty awesome. So we have uh, 90, 90 published posts. So pretty cool. As you can see, we have, uh, I have 90 published posts and then 24 scheduled for the coming months, which I'm trying to get some scheduled in advance because I know that I've got the holidays coming and then I've got uh, another vacation coming up soon. And then um, I don't want to have to worry about not having fresh content on my blog. So let's see, what else should I show you inside of my Google Analytics? I've already showed you um, where my traffic is coming from social and then that I'm getting more Google organic traffic. L let's just go back over here as I, I showed you, my page views for August were 2,700. Let's go back to July and just kind of see what the stats or the page views were for that. So as you can see, it was definitely more. It was a 3,066 for last month, which isn't that much of a difference if you ask me, because considering in July, I did work completely um, the whole month on my blog, whereas in August, I did take two weeks off to go on vacation. So in my opinion, not too bad. Of course, the uh, average session duration in July was a lot more. And I think the bounce rate was about the same as far as uh, I think it was maybe a little bit less in August. So overall, you can see that my blog is growing. It's definitely taking a long time to do it, but I really am enjoying the process and really enjoying creating these videos and sharing with you guys what it is I'm doing. So for September, um, what I'm gonna continue doing is of course I'm going to submit a couple guest posts, which hopefully I'll get those taken care of. And then I, I'm also going to continue to focus on Pinterest because I am really trying to learn the ins and outs of it. So that's the two areas that I will be focusing on in September and hopefully um, we'll see the blog grow some more, hopefully in September. I don't have any vacations coming up in September so it will be a full month of working on my blog whenever I'm not working on my freelance work. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully it's uh, showing you what I'm doing to grow my blog and hopefully you'll follow along and grow your blog. If you have any questions, uh, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I'm not a traffic guru, but I'm just learning and sharing with you. And hopefully what I'm doing and sharing with you will help you grow your own blog. So I'll talk to you later. Have a great one. And don't forget to stop by my site at susanvelez.com and check out my blog growth report uh, or blog post that I like to post right along with this. Um, it'll be posted sometime in the second week of August, which will probably be 
August. Uh, let me let me check. Let's go August. You'll see it on my blog live on August or September fifth. So come by my blog and I'll talk to you then. Have a great one.